Hi, everyone. It's Bob Perkins bringing you another AISP Monday Morning Sales Minute here from the Inside Sales Studio. I have a special guest today, Philip Boken. Philip, how are you? Yeah, thanks for having me, Bob. Doing great today. It's great to have you. Philip is an account executive with Chorus.ai. Chorus is a great partner, supporter, sponsor of the association. Philip is going to talk about some time-tested fundamental tips for prospecting, which sometimes sales reps don't think about or forget. So, Philip, uh, please share your tips uh, today with the viewers. Yeah, my, my, uh, my tip is very simple. Make time to prospect. Hmm. It is, you know, it, it's so frustrating to see just my, uh, not my associates necessarily because we're more old school and we do it, but just as I watch LinkedIn and I see people who maybe graduate from SDR or reps that have been in their seat for a while, they forget the fact that showing up for school gets you a C plus and that mm. you need to do the additional in order to make the revenue that's going to make your family go and also to make the revenue to be successful within your club. Totally. And it's the basics a lot of the time. I mean, like people don't want to pick up the phone, for instance, as they get a little more mature in the chair, when that's the most ridiculous things, because you know, as well as I do in our field, when you pick up the phone, anything can possibly happen. Yeah, totally agree. You know, I, I, I often tell people prospecting earns you the right to be successful. I also say that uh, you, you get a high performance car, you love to drive it. It's, it's fantastic. It's fast and so on. To me, prospecting is the gasoline you put in it, the fuel you put in it. At some point, if you don't keep fueling it up, it runs out, right? Yeah. So you, you, you can't have a successful ongoing sales career unless you do prospecting. Would you, would you agree with that? I completely agree with it. I mean, there's a, I won't name the names, but some of the biggest companies in the world I've landed deals with, and it's it, at times it's taken me two and a half years from when I create that lead to close that deal, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's a lot of ups and downs, but the fact of the matter is when you create that deal, your ASP is going to go up also because you're more invested in it. And people have created that idea on the other side of the phone in order yeah. to carry that forward. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that like, I'm so fortunate for the fact that coming from outreach, um, in my hast and using that product when I was there, I've carried it forward everywhere I've gone since. Yeah. And it just, it just allows me to really save time, effort, and to really understand the accounts I'm going after, what's gone on in the past, and how I'm going to act, and also be organized and everything. Because one of the main problems I think we always face in prospecting is how can we stay organized in doing it? I mean, the amount of times we've had a tick sheet when we dial down in the past, <laughs> right? Yeah. Or, oh my God, you know, and, and I think about my first job, my first sales job was in the city, San Francisco, before the turn of the century in finance. Yeah. And it was, here's your list you're going to dial before lunch, 150 people. There was an F word thrown in there, actually, when he handed it to me. <laughs> and then after lunch, you're going to dial another 150 people. Yeah. And it was simply just picking up the rotary phone and dialing it. At the yeah. Time, right. Yeah. And now to have these tools where it's all teed up for you, it makes sense. You're doing it when you're supposed to. Uh, you got to you got to fend off management occasionally because they think you're being lazy, maybe with the tool you're given. Right. But at the end of the day, no, it it just. I mean, what we have today. I mean, Bob, you know as well as I do what we have today versus what we had in the past. It, it's incredible. There's no excuse. Now you mentioned here's a. We're going to end with this, right? Okay. Um, you mentioned just make time to prospect. So, do you have a tip such as uh, put a recurring Outlook calendar invitation? you know, every Tuesday from, you know, this time to that time, every Thursday, whatever. Do you have some tips on, you can say that and you can mean it, but how do you actually execute on finding time to prospect? Great question. Um, I put it on my, I'm not going to show you my calendar. I put it on my calendar every day and right. I actually prospect between nine and nine 45 every morning central because I hit the Pacific people before they get in Love and it. I'm able to hit mid morning and people in the East, I get 30 to 35 dials done right out of the way in the morning. And then I'm on to the rest. I love this. I hope listeners, viewers, if you're seeing this, hearing this, um, <laughs> Philip, you've been in sales for 20 years, I understand. And you're still yeah, putting so. time in your calendar to prospect every day, even if your funnel is full and you, even if you're projected to hit your number, right? You're still prospecting. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I have five children and it's important that I shoe them. All right. Look, <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Thanks to Chorus. Great tip. Uh, give us your feedback. Uh, Philip, how can uh, listeners, viewers reach out, contact with you about this topic? 
Absolutely. You reach me through LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn like everybody else is. Please send me a message through there. Connect with me or follow me. Happy to do so. Appreciate your time, Bob. And thank you for everything you do for us. I appreciate it. You bet. Everyone, until next Monday, good selling. Bye-bye.